Hello everyone, this is Alon of the Sitefinity SDK team. In the next few minutes I'll give a quick demo of Sitefinity's taxonomies per site feature, which was introduced in version 8. I'm running a pre-installed version of Sitefinity here. As you can see I have three sites um, created on it the international news, the Bulgarian news, and the zombie news. On each of those sites I have a news provider created and as you can see if I go to content and news I have a news item created for each of them. On the international news I have the international well-known lorem ipsum text. On the Bulgarian news I have the bacon ipsum which is my personal favorite and on the zombie news I have some zombie ipsum text. So in order to get started, let's go to content and all classifications. Here we manage and create content item classifications in Sitefinity, or as we sometimes call them, taxonomies. The current grid shows the classifications that come built into Sitefinity by default, namely categories and tags and departments which are used for the e-commerce module. And we have a column here that says that each of those classifications is used on three sites. So if I, if I click the three sites, I can see which sites this classification is being used on. So let's create a classification real quick. I'll call it News Categories. And a single item will be named News Category. We'll just keep it a simple list for now and create it. So already here in the title I can see that my new classification is being used on three sites and I have the option to start creating categories. So let's create a quick category. This one will be called politics and another one called sports. Now let's go back to all classifications where we can see that our news categories, as expected, is shared and used on three sites. Just to mention that in order to use um, the news categories in actual news item, I'll have to go to Content and News and click Custom Fields, which is down here. We already have custom fields for the built-in classifications, categories and tags. Um, we'll just add a field of type classification and we'll set it to the news categories that we just added and save changes. Now when I edit the news item, for example the zombie ipsum item, I can scroll down to news categories and add the special categories that I've designated for news. For example, let's say that this is politics and publish this item. Then we'll go to International News, go to the Lorem Ipsum item, and I'll just tag it. I mean, I'll categorize it with my News Categories item as Sports. And on the Bulgarian News, I'll go to the Bacon Ipsum. And just the same way, I will set its category to be Politics again and publish. Now let's see how we can manage different news categories on different sites. I'll navigate again to content and all classifications and as we recall the news categories that we've just created is being used on all three sites. Let's go to the zombie news site and suppose I want to customize my news categories classification to be more specific for my content items on the zombie news site. What I can do is create a split and manage news categories for this specific site. In order to do that, I'll go to Actions and change classifications for this site. Now in this dialog, which we will explore a few times in this demo, I have two options. Either Other Sites, in which case we can see the sites uh, on which this classification is currently being used, or This Site Only. When I choose this option, the currently selected site will have its own copy of the classification. If I click the checkbox Duplicate, I will have copies of the existing news categories created for my current site. Otherwise, I'll have an empty classification to start with. 
I'll choose to duplicate so we can see the difference between the sides more clearly and click done. I get a fair warning that tells me that news categories that were already applied to content items will be removed from them. This is important to know. So I'll just click yes to approve this. Now we can see in the grid that the news categories is used on this site only and has the same original categories I've created. If I go to see the actual categories, I will see that they're applied to zero items at the moment as I was warned. Now I can add or delete categories. For example, let's delete the unnecessary categories for the zombie apocalypse. Create new categories for them. For example, brains and shelter hangouts. Now if we go back to all classifications, we can see that for the current site we have the categories that we've just defined, but on the other sites, if I go back to Bulgarian News, we can see it's shared on two sites, not three anymore, and it contains different taxons in it. If I go to the zombie site again, and to the news items, I'll again open my zombie Ipsum news item, and scroll down. Here are my news categories again. As expected, I can see it's currently uncategorized, but I can recategorize it as needed. In fact, I need to do so. And when I select from existing, I can see the categories which are specific for the current site. Now let's go back to all classifications. Suppose I want to undo the split of the classification that I've just created and get back the classifications from the other sites. I can do this if I go to Actions and again change, change classifications for this site. I'll go back to the first radio button and I'll ask for the site to use categories shared with other sites, namely the two other sites that are using the original classification and click Done. Now again, I will lose my pre-classified items and all the news categories that I've added will be irrelevant for this site anymore and thus they will be unclassified. Therefore, the news item that I just added a classification for will no longer be classified. So I need to approve this message again. Now again, as we can see, we're still on the zombie news site and we're getting news categories which are shared on all three sites and we're back to politics and sports which were the original categories created. What happened to my specific split news categories classification that I've just created? It's not deleted, but it's currently not being used on any site. I can find it if I click the filter not used on any site here. So here it is, and here are the categories which are specific for the zombie news site. Suppose now that I want this classification to be used on any of the sites, I can go again to Actions, and click Use Classification In. Now I get a list of all the sites in the system and I can choose which one I would like to use it with. Click Done. Again, since I'm about to replace the classification on the Zombie News site with a split one, if there are any content items which are currently using the shared news categories, not the one I'm bringing back now, they will lose their classification which means I'll have to go back and reclassify them with this split classification I'm just bringing back to life. So I'll have to approve. And under all classifications now, we have again the news categories which are specific for this site only. So this pretty much wraps it up. Sitefinity's taxonomies per site feature, which was introduced as of Sitefinity's version 8. Thank you for watching.